The man identified as Bartholomew Granger fired several shots and drove away in a truck. Officers exchanged gunfire in an effort to stop his truck. They shot out his tires, and Granger ran inside the Richard Construction Building in the 1100 block of Natchez Street. Six News reporter Callie Desimone joins us now from the building where Granger hid from police and finally surrendered. Callie? Well, that's right, Bill. The construction building behind me is the building that Bartholomew Granger took several hostages in and eventually did surrender to police. It's a scene now that several police officers are working, scaling the area, looking for uh, bullets that may be left over. It looked like a scene out of a movie. That's how attorney Hal Lane described the aftermath of the shootings. His office is down the street from the courthouse. He watched police cars, SWAT officers, and ambulances fill the road outside his office on Orleans Street. You no, know, I just was inside the building and I heard quite a few loud shots. Lane walked outside his office to see what was happening. The man was in a pickup truck crossing out in front of the building with police cars behind him. Police fired dozens of shots at Granger's pickup truck. He stopped about one block away from Lane's law office. Police shot out the tires and windows. Granger was hit, but his injuries weren't serious. He stopped his truck and ran inside the Richard Construction Incorporated building in the 1100 block of Natchez. Once he was inside the building, police say Granger took several hostages. And he realized that they were serious wounds, so he was agitated, and I think he, uh, he was more concerned about getting uh, medical help than anything than hurting the hostages. Investigators say he finally handed over his weapon, and officers took him into custody. What remains is a crime scene that stretches several blocks, one that officers will be investigating well into the night. That this was an extensive crime scene. This is one of the worst situations officers can, uh, uh, can be confronted with. And police officers say that they believe they'll be here for several more hours. They want to do a very detailed investigation, one that will include using lasers to mark the different points throughout today's shooting. Reporting live in Beaumont, Callie Desimone, KFDM 6 News. To recap, the suspect, Bartholomew Granger, is in the Jefferson County Jail. He was briefly hospitalized at Christus in Beaumont for treatment of minor injuries. We're told a bullet may have grazed his head. One person died. Three others were shot and taken to hospitals. A reminder, stay with KFDM News and KFDM.com for continuing coverage of the shooting outside the Jefferson County Courthouse.